You know, that question reminds me of the old saw that if you had an infinite number of monkeys uh, pounding on typewriters throughout eternity, that sooner or later one of those monkeys is going to write Hamlet. Um, Just pouring it out and just writing, 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 writing is like one of those monkeys hammering at the keyboard. Um, you got to stop writing. You should never have started writing in the first place without having pulled back, looked at your characters, and, f- and created a story by first of all asking your char- yourself, what do my characters want? Well, first of all, amongst your cast of characters, who's the protagonist? Which of all these characters is uh, this, this good story going to be about? Identify which of the characters is the protagonist, and then ask the question, what does this character want that would um, satisfy them or or bring their life into fulfillment? Um, What does this character want consciously uh, that they think they want out of life? And in a more complex character, what does this character really want subconsciously that is driving the character? How does that subconscious desire conflict with their conscious desire? When you understand what the character wants and have a sense of of, of, uh, what they uh, uh, imagine um, a satisfying life would be, the next question to ask is how can I throw the life of that character out of balance? what What would happen to this character that would cause them to go on a quest for the satisfying life that consciously or unconsciously they really want to live. The key is, first of all, figuring out the character's desire, conscious or unconscious, and then throwing that life out of balance. The reason you can't find a story as you're writing, writing, writing is because apparently uh, nothing has happened to these characters to put their life so radically out of balance that they have to go on a struggle against the forces of, of the world and, and their own inner life and characters around them to, to, um, to get that object of desire that, that would satisfy them and give them the life that ultimately they want, or not, because the ending may be negative. But because you don't know what they want, apparently, clearly, or what you think they want, they only want intermittently for a scene or two here or there. You don't understand the deep, irreplaceable desire in the character. You can't figure out what would throw the character's life out of balance that would cause them to go seeking that object of desire uh, in their life. And so before you write, you've got to ask key questions. Who is my character? What does my character really want out of life? What is stopping them from getting it? What would happen to my character that would so throw their life out of balance that it would put them on a quest that would cause them to use their humanity to the limit of who they are and empty them out, in a sense, as a human being over the course of the story and reveal them to the audience completely. And so those key questions of desire, inciting incident, forces of antagonism, all those great key questions of story are questions apparently you've never asked yourself. Or if you have, you just weren't determined to get an answer. And you kept writing and writing and writing in the hope that you'd be struck by lightning and then suddenly from on, on high would come answers to questions you haven't even asked. So stop writing, step back, ask those key questions and create a story on three or four pages in simple one-sentence statements and then from that outline begin uh, to build the story, uh, begin to build the telling of the story uh, onto the page.